Okay, so this poem is called Some Two-Year-Old Junk, and I wrote this because a while back, um, a girl that I used to be very into and I hooked up with and who I really wanted to date and I wanted to go out with, um, she was a senior and she was graduating, I was a sophomore, and I guess she just decided that um, she wasn't sure if she wanted to really be with me and she didn't know what she was doing and she peaced on me she just left and we didn't talk for like two years and so she messaged me a while back on Facebook saying how much she missed me and how much she kind of wanted to hang out it's not fair like you know since I'm going to Colorado but she really wanted to meet up and I got really I didn't know how to feel when I got that message at first like I don't know, I, I guess it, it was nice to know that she still cared, but at the same time, I, I was more angry, I was more aggravated. Because at this point in my life, I, I've lost a, a ton of weight, and I've had a lot of girls that uh, who wouldn't even look at me now are like looking my way, and people that I used to like really be into and who had no interest in me are like, oh my god, like I love you, I have a crush on you. And so I just, I don't know, at the time I took this as like, it was insulting. I don't know. I, I don't know why. It was just more of like the pride of me being like, no, you can't just come crawling back to me after not speaking to me for two years. And so I wrote this poem just because I was really aggravated. And yeah, so this is called Some Two-Year-Old Junk. I miss you. She lets it slip. I've been thinking of you for the past two years. <laughs> Sunshine words. Meant to close this fissure made from severed hearts in a couple years silence, she wants to thread herself back to me, back to her sheets, back to sweet 523 we used to hook up and talk about our stomachs wanting to make phone calls, silly things, I know, while reading O'Brien novels, memories, funny the things we carry. Here's my number, call me if you want to catch up. <laughs> but I do not know you, broken girl with newfound love, no, I do not know you. But I knew a girl who just like, looked just like you, and I thought I had found answers to everything in her assortment of pillows in a dorm room for it where no boys were allowed, but I snuck in anyway, in Benfold's tracks and sticky notes covering my door, but she walked away and wouldn't love me goodbye. I want to see you. I cannot give you what you ask. Since you and my old flame cannot give me back the days I spend in isolation wondering when the night and four walls won't be the only ones who want to stay with me when the day is done. You never wanted me then. I cannot rid myself of, mem of em uh, memories of empty days. <laughs> Funny the things we carry. I want to see you. I guess the only thing I can truly say is love. Find me in your mind. Like you made me find you. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. I know that was a little more depressing, but... Sometimes the saddest things make the best poems, I guess, but hope you enjoyed. Alright, cool.